Now we are finished with everything when it comes to the colored metal here. Now we would like to have the rust and the dust and the dirt on the non-colored metal as well. And the easiest way to get it there is of course to just copy what we have here and then strip things off so we get it just for the metallic. So what we can do is go to the first non-color metallic here and then go down to material properties and change that metal into color of lantern so we get that uh, material on that part as well. Now the next step is very vital and that is to do a new material so do a copy of this one so it says color of lantern 001 and the reason of that is of course if we now start to do changes we would like to avoid to have those changes on this color material so change it to color lantern so it says 001 in the end and now we can change the name as well so we can call it metallic material like this so now we know that this is the metallic material and we can copy that material to all the non-colored metallic parts here. So I just select everything up here except the top and then I select the top last by pressing Ctrl. Go down to this window and press Ctrl L and select the materials here. And now I have all the colored parts on everything. Uh, so now it's time to change a few things because we don't want uh, this part here to, here to be colored, it should be uncolored and so on. So we have to do some changes here. And we can start by take away the, the rust, see if I can find it. So we just put that to free here. So then we can start from the ground, so to say. And here we directly see that uh, the reflection here on these are not the same as the reflection I have here. The reflection here is much more than this. This is no reflection at all. So uh, that seems to be some differences between uh, this part here and that part here, because here we have the color and everything. And the reason for it is that the dirt we did now, I hope you have done it anyway, we did this vertex paint also on the non-colored parts. And if you have not done that, please do. And this here, uh, it does not have any edges or something, it's just round. So that means that we just paint this with white and then we get the roughness of white and yeah, that means no reflections left. So we need to fix that. But in the same time, we have reflection on this material here because that follows other rules because it has edges and the vertex paint was more successful for this here. So what I suggest is that we keep uh, the material that we have done on this part here and uh, on the part that are inside the glass here. And then we do another material for all the wires here. So go to the first one again, so Bezier Curve 003, and then you can go to uh, the material properties, and then we do a copy again. So we press metallic, metallic material once more, and now I will call this metallic uh, wire material so something like this metallic wire material and that we can use for all the wires here so we separate that uh, and then if we select that here it will be so that you select this one the fourth from the top and the rest like those and then you press control on the top one because those two between here, uh, they are the, the two that has the color and works very well. But the other one, all the other one, they are like wires. So with this selection, we can now go here and just press Ctrl L and select materials. So then we have that connected for that material. 
So we can just do a shik. So if I go in here, select one of the wires. See, so we really have selected the wires and just take away this material output. Then everything should be black. That is uh, wires and that two, they should then be, uh, yeah, in this case, the, the color that we have on on our lantern. So it looks like we have succeeded. So I now take this back here and I will concentrate on this part here. So now we can start to work with that. And first of all, we don't want color in it and we can solve that in different ways. If we go down to this part here, you can see that it says color material and we have one, two, three colors and this one is the metallic color. Uh, what we can do is two ways. Uh, we can keep this as it is, but we can either copy this metallic color to the other two colors, or we can use the metallic color out here to uh, be sure that we use that all the time. I think it's most uh, secure way to just copy the metallic color to these two because then we don't have to change anything here. So what I will do now is press Shift A, input and use an RGB. So we have a color node here and then I go down here and then select this eyedropper and select the metallic color so we get that as a color here. And then it's just for me to put that on color one, on color two, and on the metallic color. And that means that everything will get this color right now. And you can see that we are now back to some kind of metallic on all of these. However, you can also see that it's shining rather much right now. So it could be that we have to change the base roughness and that we can do in the same node group that we have here. So just take that up a bit. Let's see what we have like something like that, don't have to be exact about something like that thing. I think that would work fine. So then we have that. Uh, then this is metal. So it's a metallic thing. And uh, we have a parameter here that says 0 0.105. And we can put that to one, of course, like this. And it could be good, good to do. But since everything is metallic, we can also just do like this, that, uh, see if I can find it now, we have still a lot of nodes, so it's still something to go through, go through here, but here we have the one that is controlling the color, and here we have a node that goes to metallic. We can just remove that one, because everything will be metallic. If we get rust or something like that, that is non-metallic, like the dust and so on, uh, then we have those two others. So we have this one for dust with no metallic, and we have this uh, here for the rust with no metallic. So it will work to have this as full metallic here, since it's metal. So then we have solved that as well, no problem. And then we have this fuel here, we have no fuel on the metallic parts, so we can just get rid of this one. But we should be very careful when we do it. We have two outputs and we need those to go. So uh, we have an input color there from this, uh, from this here. And that will then be the output color here. So we can just take this and put that directly to the base color. And then that one is removed and we have one left. But we have the same thing here. We have an input bump map and an output. So we can just take uh, the thing that we have here and put that whatever place we have the other one, which is down here on the height. So we just remove it from the input bump map and put that on the height here. And as soon as I do that, I have no output and if I have no output, I have no use for this one. So I can select it and press delete. So we get rid of that. So now that is fixed and we have a good starting point here with some edges and everything. And now we can uh, just change a few things. Like I think that the dust color 
should be more like a yellow tone here because if we get the dust it will be like some kind of rust rather soon so go more on that color here and same with the dirt color that we add just a small amount of brown into that one as well so i think that would be better to use here and then it's just to test it with some uh, rust as well to see that that works in a good way so we go to the rust controller and we go cl closer here and we can also remove the glass so i select the glass here and just press h uh, so then we can see this more clearly here we have put the wireframe on that that doesn't matter we can keep it like this uh, so then we have these two and if i now change this rust filter by taking down this to see if we get some rust then we can see we get some rust here uh, on this one I don't get so much on that one uh, if I now decrease it even more uh, then I get some on that see so they are like we get more dust or, or we get more rust on this earlier then we get on this one but I think we get it uh, rather late for both of these so what we can do what what is controlling this mostly is uh, the dirt part here so uh, we can increase the dirt distribution just a little bit and if we do that you can see now that this is crawling up a bit and I think that this part when I look at uh, all the reference images, uh, that part will rust rather soon. So by putting out the dirt distribution just a little bit like this, then this uh, come up here. So then we have fixed that. And if I now go back to the rust just to check it uh, by adding more rust here, then we can see that it gets rust in a good way when we control it and if I take this to free then we have no rust so now it looks like it works okay with this as it should so now I think that part is okay and we can then uh, take uh, back the glass here so I select it here and I just press H again or I press the I here whatever works so now we have that back and now it's time to fix the wires as well so the wires select them and we have no rust filter but i think it's had a bit too little of reflection so that we can fix we can also fix this part with the fuel first so you remember what i did i just took the result color to the base color and and then I just took the bump map from here directly to the one here. So bump map down here. And then we can just remove that one. So then that one is gone. And uh, we hardly need this edge wear and scratches as well. Because uh, we don't have any edges uh, to talk about could be that we have some here when they meet okay i keep it i keep it but uh, we change a few things here uh, so we can we have a dirt roughness here and this is one the one that uh, controls a lot of uh, the reflection here so if i just take down the dirt roughness a bit so perhaps like that I can take down put that to like I don't know 0 0.2 or something and we can now also go and change the edge roughness a bit here and I think I can play with this as well I uh, don't know if it does so much. Uh, we, just, we just keep it like this. And then finally we can also go in here and change the, the dust 
doesn't have any roughness it comes from the back color material so and the base roughness is rather low so i don't think we should do so much with that one uh, it could be that i would yeah we should change this to metallic color of course on each of these so i press shift a input and rgb and then I go here and I take this one and I select that for that. No, I don't do that. I take this one and select it for metallic color, of course. And then I connect that one. I connect this one and I connect that one. So now we have the same color out. So then that is fixed as well. Then I go back a bit just to see how everything looks right now. And See, so it looks okay, and I see that we have uh, to fix this with the rust now. So, if I go to the rust filter, get a bit closer, uh, so we can see what happens if I now change this, and it gets, gets rust slowly in a good way here. So if I now take it away, does it look okay? Yes, it does. So we can have it like that. Is there anything else that I should change right now? Um, don't think so. Uh, yes, we can take away the metallic here uh, because that should always be a one. Uh, so we don't need to send that in uh, let's see if we have something else and uh, now I don't think so we can take down the edge roughness to 0 0.2 or something like that so now everything is fixed here so yeah now we have it on the wires as well so all we have to do now is as I normally do when I end some stuff here uh, is to do some type of uh, render. I will just see so we get some rust on this part as well here before I do the render. So something like this could work fine I think. So now I do the render here and I come back afterwards to see if we have succeeded or not. Okay, so my render is finished and we have now metal on this part with some uh, scratches. Look really, really good with the scratches here, uh, even if they are like procedural. Uh, so that looks nice and we have some rust down here. We have a slight start of rust here. Now these two materials are totally uh, un in independent of each other so um, I have turned it this part to more rust than this part the only thing I noticed that I might have done is that I was too afraid that it should not be reflective so I took down the roughness a little bit too much I think because this is uh, really shining here uh, and it doesn't have to shine so much uh, when we have used it so many times so we got all these scratches so it has to take up the roughness a bit again and then everything will look fine here so I think we have succeeded with this mission as well and the last thing we have to do now is the glass here so we can change that as well to be older and older and get more and more ashes and dirt and so on on that one as well so uh, i see you in next session and then i start with the glass there